Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Power Pressure Cooker XL. It's a six quart uh, pressure cooker. I bought this particular one at uh, my local uh, Target store. It sells for about uh, just under a hundred dollars. So after opening the top of the box, you see we have uh, uh, looks like an instruction manual and probably a little cookbook and then we got a piece of styrofoam I may have to I'm probably gonna have to put the phone down maybe I don't know if I can get this out there we go I'll set that to the side okay so now I have everything unwrapped so it came with a, this plastic spoon there's obviously there's the electric cord and this is a uh, small measuring cup and the other piece of plastic is this is a little uh, removable reservoir that uh, I guess it, it's, it captures any excess uh, moisture uh, this thing is designed to release uh, in case it needs to so the reason they make that removable, obviously, is so you can remove it and clean it, and then you want to make sure you put it back before you uh, use it. So after having watched a number of uh, YouTube videos, <laughs> uh, I feel w what I'm going to do, this is the first time I'm going to be using it, so I, what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to make some uh, pasta and uh, with a meat sauce. And so, uh, like I say, I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos, so I have a feel for what I want to do with this thing, to, to, at least to try it out, as opposed to looking in the, the book that came with it and making sure I have all the ingredients. Uh, I just want to experiment, basically, and see what happens. Maybe a disaster. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But uh, So what I'm going to do first is... Uh, brown some ground beef, and brown it, and then put in the ingredients and then uh, bring it up to pressure for about, uh, I guess, I guess initially about 15 minutes, according to some of the videos that I've watched, and we'll see how it turns out. So I'm in the process of uh, browning my uh, ground beef, so I'm going to, it's got a little ways to go yet. I'm going to finish browning it and, uh, and go ahead and uh, add my other ingredients. Okay, I think my meat is brown enough, so the next thing I'm going to add is this uh, jar of ragu. Then I'll be adding my uh, pasta and uh, probably a little bit of margarine. Some water, and we'll see how it goes. So what I did, I added the bottle of ragu, uh, the pasta sauce, and then I pretty much added an, uh, another bottle of water, about the same size, because I used the ragu bottle for the water, and then I also uh, put in, uh, I don't know, about half the bag of uh, pasta that I had. So. I don't know how many, you know, how much that was, but it, you know, makes uh, probably it'd be enough for about two, two helpings for one person or two people, you know, kind of depending on what else you're going to have. Uh, what I wanted to do, having watched all these different YouTube videos, uh, got the idea that with pasta, you want to make sure that everything's covered with liquid. Now I might have gotten a little bit too much liquid in there. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but uh, and then I put in some uh, garlic salt, a little bit of garlic salt, regular table salt, and some a little bit of black pepper. And this is just an experiment. We're going to see how it uh, turns out. So the next step is going to be putting the lid on here and bringing this thing up to pressure. Uh, and I'm going to. It's going to be under pressure for about uh, about 15. So minutes. I put the lid on. I've made sure that uh, the steam vent is in the closed position and 
I've manually set the timer for 15 minutes. So the 15 minutes isn't going to appear until uh, the thing gets up to pressure. And that uh, could take a few minutes. That's going to take a few minutes for it to get up to pressure. And so uh, I'll be back after it, it successfully gets up to pressure and uh, I get the thing open so we'll see what happens. Okay so after a few, it took a few minutes for the thing to get up to power and then once it did, or pressure rather, and once it did you can see that uh, the digital countdown has uh, started and one thing that I'll note, uh, when I first plugged it in and turned it on to brown the meat it was a pop, a, you know, kind of a loud popping noise, and that was, you know, there was the lid was not on there, and I noticed again uh, a while ago there was a kind of a popping noise, and I don't know if that may be associated with the uh, pressure cooker, it's possible. Uh, earlier, now it's completely silent. Earlier, when it was coming up to pressure, I could hear. Uh, kind of the stuff boiling. So this is going to be a, quite an interesting experiment. So this is the final result. I ended up uh, canceling before I got to the full 15 minutes. I decided that I still had about four minutes left or so and I decided that maybe uh, you know the videos that I'd watched uh, they were using more pasta than I did. I only used about a half of half a bag and I guess that, was, that would be about half a pound of pasta and that actually looks like it's enough for three maybe two meals for me uh, so in any case it, uh, my decision to cancel it turned out right because uh, pasta is cooked just about enough had I cooked it for four more minutes it might have ended up being a little bit too uh, soft or mushy so uh, I think the experiment was a success. So that is uh, the Power Pressure Cooker XL 6 quart pressure cooker and overall I am very impressed. Now as I said uh, previously I did watch a bunch of pressure cooker videos including some instructional videos with this specific pressure cooker. But uh, having watched a bunch of videos, a lot of the uh, pressure cookers, cookers are very similar in that they all have some sort of a digital controller and various uh, sorts of digital displays that have kind of similar functions. And uh, they all kind of function in the same way. Overall, I am quite impressed uh, with especially with this specific model that I bought I think I made a good choice in uh, just buying what was available at my local Target store versus uh, maybe buying it online or wherever else because uh, I want you know it's kind of an imp sort of an impulse purchase and but I must say I'm, I'm very impressed with this thing so far because I, this was a complete experiment on my part. I didn't even read the, the owner's manual. But as I said, I did watch the video, so I was kind of aware of uh, how the thing, how you put the thing together and what, you know, the, thing, the steps to use with it. And uh, so I would say the next, I've, one thing with the, the pasta that I made, I did forget to put the margarine in it, because uh, normally if I'm cooking pasta conventionally, conventionally I would uh, put margarine in it so I, I failed to put the margarine in it but it still turned out great uh, despite that so the next time I would probably uh, besides adding a little margarine to the sauce I would also go ahead and uh, probably reduce the pressure time down to around maybe nine minutes uh, and kind of see see how it worked and also maybe use a little bit less water than what I used. But overall, very impressed with uh, the results that I got.